people, so I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the shopping cart trick. I see a lot of different people saying, oh my gosh, I got approved for 4000 I got approved for 25000 So I'm just so excited about this. And even the people, too, that's doing the Victoria's Secrets that's getting approved for $350. A lot of these people, too, don't forget the shopping cart trick is meant for those people that if you want to get a credit card and you know your credit is not so great, then this is a way where you can get credit card without actually pulling your credit. So I wanted to jump right into the video. Don't forget to you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you drop your cash app because I am doing a cash app giveaway for every, every, every video, you guys. So every video I'm going to look at who's actually dropping their cash app or who actually doing what they need to do, you guys, and I'm going to do my monthly cash app giveaway. So if you guys have any questions, don't forget to always call or text me. Phone number is 833-RAKITA. So let's get right on into the video. I want you guys to do is I want you guys to click these three dots up here so if you see right here at the top click these three dots now it is best that you use a laptop or computer and I use Chrome now when you use let me pause this video I can see myself when you actually use like your cell phone I'm not sure how it's gonna work so I can't tell you you know how that's gonna work only thing I can tell you is that I'm using the actual desktop computer and that I'm using Chrome so let's go ahead and click these three dots here at the top and let's go ahead and click settings right here so click settings now i want you to make sure your pop-ups is enabled so go ahead and type pop here in the search bar so go ahead and click go ahead and type pop go ahead and click right here where it says site settings go ahead and click there now scroll down you guys pop-ups and redirects now, I want you guys to make sure that this is allowed. A lot of times, too, you may see it look like this where it says block, which is recommended. You don't really want to have pop-ups, but in our case, we want pop-ups because that pop-up is what's going to tell us that we're pre-approved. So go ahead and click allow pop-ups. Now, not only be it that, go ahead and exit out, and I want you to put cookies in here next. So put cookies, and let's go down here where it says cookie and other site data. So this is where I want you guys to look and the thing is too i want us to actually clear our cookies so you can go ahead and block third-party cookies in incognito make sure it says that so make sure that that says that you want to block the cookies in, in, when you are incognito. now let's go ahead and click go press the back key we can just click the back click key now we want to clear our browsing data so go ahead and clear your browsing data so i hate to clear my browsing data but i'm gonna do it for you guys every time you clear your browsing data you have to log into every account again and i hate it i hate having to log back into every account but let's go ahead and clear our data so it's gonna do some thinking it's gonna do some thinking and then they're going to clean all of this out, you guys. So right now, 450 sites, they got cookies on me. They're tracking me. My download history, I downloaded 81 items. 1,619 items from my browsing history. So all of this should be clear. So let them go ahead and work their magic. And then after they go ahead and work their magic, we're going to go right in and do their factor trust. So instead of waiting here, let's go ahead and go straight into Factor Trust. This is going to be a really long video if we wait. But it should say that it's actually clear, but we'll pop back in to make sure that it's actually clear. So let's go ahead and click here. And let's do Factor Trust, you guys. Actually, I cleared my browsing history, so now I don't have the actual link. So I'm going to have the link in the description. So definitely go ahead and look in the description. and get the link so here is the link here you guys so let's copy that a new window and let's paste okay you guys so here's the factor trust website so when you go ahead and go to this website i want you guys to make sure that it says opt-in right here so when you see opt-in go ahead and click submit so after you click submit i want you to put your first name here and i'll actually fill it out with you guys so you can see how to do it let's go ahead and put our first name here put our last name here let's put our social let's go ahead and put our social let's put our date of birth here 
And then let's put our street address too. So let's put our address here. Now remember the address that you're putting here, this is going to be the same address as on your Equifax credit report. So you guys can be able to see the address on my Divi IQ. If you do not have your credit reports, go ahead and look down in the description. You can get your credit reports for just $1 with Identity IQ. So look down in the description, you'll see a link where you can get your credit reports for just $1. Go ahead and get your credit reports and see what address they got for you as your current address. So we wanna fill this out. Now after we fill this out, I want us to go ahead and click confirm. So go ahead and Click confirm. Now the thing is, too, we are, we are unable to complete your request, and we do not have a record that matches your information entered, and that's only because I put fake information in you guys. So they're telling me, hey, send us some information. But if you get this message right here, make sure you go ahead and call them and follow up with them. I never had this problem, or I never heard of anybody having this problem. But since my information is fake, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. Now this is the thing. Now, now we're actually. We did the fact of trust. We made sure our cookies was clear. All of that stuff was done, right? Now, what I want us to do is I want us to go to the website now. So I want us to do it in incognito mode, too. So let's go ahead and click here, and let's do new incognito window. And then do it with overstock.com, you guys. So we're on the overstock.com website. You can see we got a... Coupon saying we can get 15% off, so that's really good, you guys. When you get that coupon pop up, then you know that you're really doing something good. So let's go ahead and find something between $200 to $250, and then we'll add that to our card. Let's actually find something. So dinner sets. Let's find something that like this, you guys. We could get two of those, or we can get. We can get three of these here. Add it to the cart. Let's check out. Continue as a guest. Go ahead and put all of your information in here, you guys. Okay, let's see. I'm almost done putting everything in. So make sure that this is the same information as you put, the same information that you put on. Oh, there we go. This Make sure it's the same information. I couldn't even talk and it popped up so fast, you guys. Make sure that this is the same information that you put onto your factor trust. And that's the pop-up that you're going to get here, you guys. I just want to hear if and. I would have been say that, you guys, that the pop-up came so fast. But this will be the pop-up here, you guys. So Overstock Store Credit Card. You've been pre-approved for the Overstock Credit Card, you guys. And then you can go ahead and click Accept Now. And when you go ahead and click Accept Now, then they'll go ahead and see the credit card. You don't actually have to buy anything. So now that we did the Overstock.